Hey guys, so I want to do a quick comparison here between uh, Huawei Mate 10 Pro and iPhone X. I want to check out the camera uh, as well as the speed, see how they do compare here. Uh, so Mate 10 Pro coming with Kirin 970, uh, very high in processor, 6 gigs of RAM versus Apple A11 Bionic here uh, with the latest iOS. So we're going to start shooting at the same time and see. Very interested to see how the Leica camera does compare here uh, with Apple's own setup. So you can see iPhone 10 does actually give it a little bit faster here, uh, but not hugely so. Both of them are very nippy to get going, I have found in day to day use. Uh, so we're just going to bump the brightness up here. Uh, obviously, with the iPhone, you are getting a nice a uh, big display here with OLED technology now. Uh, in terms of the actual quality, I'd say they're both about so uh, comparable here uh, in terms of the viewing angles, etc. Although you don't, you don't get uh, a notch, obviously, on the Mate 10 Pro, which uh, is a little bit distracting. Uh, but I am getting used to it now, nevertheless, so it's not a huge deal. Uh, so let's just put them together here and see how you compare. I'm going to open up a few basic apps and then uh, move on to the camera so everything is set to uh, default no adjustments and I'm counting 1-1 one, one. and let's try Spotify 2-1 to the mate so we've got a pop up there with that one going to be uh, fair with it See if I can remember how to close apps. I don't think I can. You see, it all goes out the window when you don't use the iPhone 10 for a while. It uh, certainly say takes some getting used to. Let's try that one again. I maybe should check that. That would have uh, helped there. But we're going to be very scientific here and do it again. You know, this is what we do. Uh, so just get rid of it again. You see, I did it properly there. And go. Mate 10 Pro, again, you see, uh, we got there in the end, 3-1, let's try again, oh, iPhone comes back here, uh, with a very nice quick load of the game, so 3-2, uh, yeah, that's correct, that one is the correct game, sometimes I open up the wrong game, Oh, this one's going to be close, and it's Mate 10 Pro, I think, here. No, it's not. It's actually iPhone, so 3.3. Uh, so traditionally, iPhone very strong here when it comes to your games, and it does show today. Grenade in your face. Just what you need to recover. Uh, iPhone again. 4.3, iPhone's got your head here. I mean, sorry Huawei, but I don't know, uh, you know, how, or maybe it's loading something. Maybe that could be the reason. So we'll disqualify that one. Uh, you know, don't want to be unfair. So back to 3.3. Three. And last one. iPhone. It looks like it. So I think I've got some sort of, yeah, I think the iPhone won that one, some sort of uh, film there on the Android uh, device. So, uh, you know, very close, but I think I'm going to give it to the iPhone here uh, towards the end because it did seem that way. Let's just do some constellation ones, uh, such as the App Store, Mate 10 Pro. And uh, let's try the camera here. So we've got it down there. Very comparable. Yeah, very close, but it's time to move on now. Sorry, AI technology. Uh, I think the iPhone has its own AI technology, actually. So let's uh, try a, uh, well, we're going to try a web browsing session. Let's see how they compare here. So let's go to... Uh, Daily Mail and let's go. 
so very quick on both of them. Let's just uh, go to something here. Mate 10 Pro. I did click on it, I saw the link uh, turn then. Let's go back. So Mate 10 Pro I think seems to be a smidgen faster but not a huge difference here. Uh, both very good when it comes to content viewing. Although as I said the notch could get very distracting. Uh, phone arena. And let's go. Mate 10 Pro that time. Definitely. Uh, very good performance here. And one more, GSM, and let's go, and let's go, May 10 Pro again, wow, so uh, extremely fast uh, web browsing here, even though they don't have their own web browser, very nice performance indeed. Uh, so I'm going to give that to uh, the Mate 10 Pro and we're going to try and do some multitasking here without pulling my hair out on the iPhone. So let's just go back to the start. Uh, so let's see here, this is how you do it. And let's go. So no reload there, nice and comparable. And another one. This one, a little bit jerky on the Mate 10 Pro, a little bit janky, much smoother on the iPhone definitely uh, for this, but both of them keeping it in memory, which is good. Well, what am I doing? So that was a bit weird. There we go. And then Uber. So yeah, I don't think you're going to get too many problems here with both of them uh, in terms of the basic apps. Going into it seems to be a little bit snappier on the uh, iPhone though, so you know uh, that uh, is quite impressive given it's only got 3 gigs of RAM here. But I'm going to give this a tie game when it comes to the, the uh, multitasking, I don't see that much difference here. Wow this is annoying. Obviously the biggest difference I have is the annoying way you do it on the iPhone. Uh, I give the Android a point there just for that. How easy it is. And you also have these lines that appear everywhere on the iPhone, which is annoying. But I do like Family Guy. Saves the day. Uh, so I think uh, in terms of multitasking, I'm going to give it a draw, but the usability is way better on your Android phone, any Android phone, in fact. Uh, let's just have a look at the camera and then round the video off. So we did uh, do some shots out and about here. And you can see, you know, uh, the performance. I think uh, to summarize, I'm going to give it to the iPhone when it comes to the uh, colors, etc. It just seemed to be more pleasing to me, you know, in terms of the white balance, etc. I mean, the, the main temporary does a good job, uh, but to access like the advanced feature, you do have to faff around a little bit. Whereas with the uh, iPhone, it's very kind of point and shoot, and you get a fantastic shot. So, you know, it's so close, close, but, uh, you know, I'd go with the iPhone here if you're looking for your low light. Uh, other aspects like daytime shooting, quite comparable. Maybe the, um, uh, the Mate 10 Pro is actually a little bit stronger in terms of the good light shooting. Uh, both of them have a lot of different bokeh modes that you can try as well uh, if you want, and the monochrome sensor on the Mate 10 Pro. So that can uh, make things look a bit more interesting, but... Uh, generally I'd stick with the iPhone here if I'm looking for a reliable shooter. There were some times when the Mate 10 Pro didn't uh, actually take the video when I told it to. It like, didn't save it. Uh, so it could be a software bug, but when you're charging you know, flagship price, I do expect them to get this right. Uh, the video, very good on the Mate 10 Pro, but there's no 60 frames per second 4K like you do get on the iPhone. And also I think the stability they employ on the iPhone is class leading still. <laughs>
good, but not the best, I'd say, in terms of the camera, uh, if we're going to be honest. Uh, in terms of everything else, though, I found the Mate 10 Pro much easier to use because uh, sometimes I was you know, getting really uh, like pulling my hair out how to use the iPhone 10 as a daily driver kind of thing. Uh, like you want to come out of the camera, you get these lines coming everywhere. I actually got locked in the camera on the iPhone 10, I couldn't get out without restarting the phone. So, yeah, you know, they both definitely have some work to do when it comes to software, I think, but if you're looking at it from uh, like a gaming perspective, multitasking perspective, they're quite comparable really. Uh, I don't think uh, the, the Kirin process really offers an amazing step up, but I will be comparing it with some other phones uh, of this year, uh, so do stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed the video, find it helpful, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.